see that this uh, COV, if it's approached zero, it means uh, the mixing is almost done. UBC Okanagan and Fortis BC are working together on a Made in BC hydrogen research lab that is one of the most advanced of its kind in North America. The goal is to decarbonize the economy. Fortis BC has been looking for alternate sources of energy after telling some developers in Kelowna it can no longer guarantee electricity for new projects until 2027 or as late as 2029. Safe to say that we need more power. We need more. Yeah, so we need more. Still very early stages and, and you know research like this is critical initial stages to help develop the industry uh, and, and work towards getting, making it a reality. This project was started in 2020 and is focused on understanding how hydrogen can be blended into its gas supply, which will allow the renewable and low carbon gas to play a role in meeting the energy needs of homes and businesses while supporting BC's climate action plan. Two thirds of our, our energy doesn't come from electricity, it comes from gas burned in our buildings. And removing that from BC, like trying to reduce that dependence on that form of energy is important and challenging. The H2 lab located in UBCO's Innovation Precinct is a cutting edge space made possible by a $2.3 million in funding by UBC, bolstered by $500,000 in research funding by Fortis BC, and another $800,000 from the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada. BC, in the interior of BC, is quite disconnected from the rest of BC in many respects, right? Anything that we want to bring here has to come through either shipping on a truck or, if it's energy, through a pipeline. Other countries like Hawaii, parts of Europe, are already using this technology. This team is working to meet BC's codes and standards with the hope of one day having hydrogen safely and reliably delivered through existing gas infrastructure. But hydrogen itself, it, it's, it's been used around the globe, for example. Hawaii's been injecting hydrogen into their gas distribution system for years. There's pilots happening in Alberta and in, in Europe. Uh, and so this research is really key for BC to help develop these codes and standards and make it sure that we can safely and deliver hydrogen into our system. It's the work being done here in the UBCO Combustion Lab, you can see the vent right here above me, that is going to help Fortis BC meet their carbon reduction goals for the future. Exactly when that future will be is yet to be determined. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.